Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want to, me to put, be posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector here with another action figure review. Right here we have the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Commander here. So here he is right in front there. Here's the side art with the Cobra symbols going on there. Here's the back art, which we've seen thousands of times already with the others. Here's the side art of Cobra Commander there. Here's the top. He's ninth figure in the wave. Um, oh, is he? No, he's a sixth figure. My bad. I was reading it wrong. Um, then here's the bottom with the DCPI for you. Um, but besides that, let's crack this guy open. And here's Cobra Commander out of the packaging here. So first, let's go over his um, accessories here. So he has this nice looking pistol here. He has that little um, melee attachment there. It's pretty cool. A uh, nice silver paint. I like it a lot, actually. And they have this nice, cool sculpt going on here. I like the look. Uh, I like the handle, too. How it sh shapes into a snake, like a cobra. Um, so that one's really cool. I like this one a lot. I'm okay with the paint apps being just one color, mainly because it's a smaller weapon, and plus it makes it even cooler. But besides that, that's really it for this one. I like this uh just a lot that's actually really cool i like this sculpt for it and then he has this little um sword here i like this one a lot actually so he has this really cool blade he has this like extra handle there for him and he has this gold handle there which is a cobra which i like a lot this this one's also a really cool sculpt of a sword i like this one a lot um, then he has two extra hands, so he has this one pointing hand for his right hand, it's black, and then in one fist hand for the other, if it'll focus, and same deal, it's just black hand, but besides that, that's all he's got for accessories, um, and then here's cobra commander up front here so you get this nice cool blue overhead helmet i guess and he has this black little detail there this is all in like embedded i guess or whatever you want to call it uh sculpted inward uh he has this gray painted sculpt around top there really cool nice metallic silver paint for the face there i like that a lot uh, and you get this nice cobra textured shoulder pad area. It's not a shoulder pad, but shoulder area, I guess. And you get this nice cool, like, uh, I don't know what the word is. Satch. Uh, I'm just going to call it strap, I guess. Uh, and you get this nice cool gold uh, fabric looking stuff there. You get this gray look, really shiny and cool looking. Uh, it kind of like looks like a snake kind of with the scales kind of right there. It's really cool. You get this gold cobra sign there. You have this nice cool texturing right there for the whatever you call this thing. Um, and then you get these. You get, he has this cobra symbol right there. You have this gold chain across there, gold buttons silver paint around the chest area and then this like belt right there it's kind of close to the same exact texture uh, same sculpt as these i guess and he has this black cape right there hanging off there um and then he has this little sword holder there that is hanging on with gold chains right there which is actually really cool uh you get these this cobra or snake looking pattern on the side there 
He has a red stripe going down his leg, blue pants, black boots that cover up to his knee. Um, and then for the arm, he has this really cool looking gauntlet looking thing there with a red cobra sign there. And then nice cool silver details throughout there. Um, and this one's for either holding on to his uh, pistol or uh, sword. And then the same deal on the other hand. And this one, I guess, is just a gesture, I guess. As in, like, I'm going to bite you or something like that, I guess. Like, clenched hand. Um, and not much else going on there, but let's go over his articulation here. So he does not have the bottom neck joint, it doesn't look like. Yeah, he doesn't like the other ones do. So he only has, like, a disc uh, ball joint there. So you can look down that far you can look up my figure's still kind of uh stiff but you can look up that far you can get him look left and right still pretty stiff though uh very little head pivoting going on there uh his shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees uh you have 360 rotation on the shoulder not in this one mainly because of this but you could do it with the other one just like that easy uh he has a bicep swivel but it's more like a cut so it's not like an actual bicep i guess he has double jointed elbows which it looks like he gets a lot of range with so you get him to get way past 90 degrees with this thing <laughs> you should do that with all the other figures but i guess you can't really do that because this guy doesn't really have a bicep so I mean, eh, oh well. Uh, his wrists can hinge down that far up, not much, but mainly because this gets in the way. You have 360 rotation around there. Uh, he has an ab crunch, so he, you can get him. To, my guy's still stiff, very stiff, and he has clicky ab crunch there, but he doesn't go that far down, actually. Mainly because I think they want him to stand up straight, because he's the commander. You need him to be straight straight and tall uh backwards a lot but that looks really weird if i can move it you get that weird looking hump right there so i don't know um and then you get a waist swivel inside there so you're gonna go 360 kick out not much mainly because this gets in the way uh i think he has a, yeah he has drop down hips he has, he could kick out that far with adjusting the drop down hips and um, thighs. You get him to kick out a bit. That's pretty good. He has an upper shin, uh, thigh cut there. He has double jointed knees, but that looked a little weird there. I think you get him to do like a little bit of a butt kick uh, if you want to. And then he has a boot swivel there. Pretty good. His ankles can hinge down that far, up far pretty good and he has a nice ankle pivot and one more thing i actually didn't mention these boots right here they have that really cool scaly look to the boots there i like that a lot but yeah that's all i've got for articulation and looks so really cool figure um the thing is that i do have to say about it though is that the articulation is a little weird for this one especially since it's from gi joe the app crunch kind of bothers me a bit Especially since it's clicky too. Um, the bicep swivels don't mind. I don't really care about that much. But uh, also I kind of wish they had like a actual sword grabbing hand. Maybe you could have them doing like one pistol hand. And then one for the other one for a sword. I guess. But I guess they decided to use that inst this instead of that. But oh well. Um, but I like the paint apps for this guy. This guy's really good. I think this is the best paint apps that they've had for him, but I'm not sure. I like the scaly looking textures throughout his uniform there. I like the boots a lot. That's really cool with what they did there. I like the swords a lot, the sword and the pistol a lot, especially with that cobra at the handle there. Um, but besides that, the only problem that I really have is the articulation. That's mainly it. Like, he can't kick out far enough, I guess. His ab crunch just looks weird. He can't get bent forward far enough. Um, and his, I guess his head 
Articulation is pretty good, but that's really all I've got for the problems for him. But really, that's it. But the detailing, awesome for this figure. But uh, that's really all I've got for this guy. So uh, that's it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have card pages. Christian's card page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's card page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting Get me being able to do that and I'll also get more games uh, to do reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it and then also the games for it. Um, more camera, better camera equipment uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.